One of my biggest complaints with projectors these days is many of them no longer support Netflix natively. You either have to find a complex workaround or you just don't watch Netflix from your projector altogether. And nobody wants that. That's where this little guy comes in. This is the brand new Nebula Mars 3 Air made by Anchor. And you guys are absolutely gonna love this little thing. Because unlike many other projectors these days, the Mars 3 Air actually supports Netflix natively. The long lasting Google TV projector with the built in Netflix is something you'll definitely be interested in. And in this video, we'll be comparing this alongside another portable projector, the XJimmy Mogo 2 Pro, and figuring out which out of these two projectors is right for you. Strap in because this comparison is gonna be one hell of a roller coaster. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. How's it going everyone? My name is RJ and today with me I got two of the hottest portable projectors on the market. Both these projectors have their pros and cons but there's one out of these two projectors that I would personally pick. Starting off with the Nebula Mars 3 Air. This is what I like to call a cinematic portable projector. Portable because it comes with a built-in 65 watt hour battery and cinematic because this projector is capable of casting content in 1080p full HD. The image quality coming out of the Mars 3 Air is outstanding. I don't even need a projector screen to enjoy watching content on this thing. I recently moved into a new condo in Toronto and there is no space here to put up a projector screen. But for me, casting onto a white wall works perfectly fine. The colors pop, the vibrancy is fantastic, and the brightness is excellent at 400 ANC lumens. By the way, if you guys want a full tour of my living space, let me know down in the comments below and I get started on making that video. I think right off the bat, one of the most surprising things about this projector is just how small and compact it is. I didn't expect the Mars 3 Air to be this small and portable. Height wise, it's smaller than my iPhone 15 Pro Max and I can quite easily pick it up with just one hand. It feels super premium to hold and the build quality feels fantastic. Pulling up with this thing to a party or a sleepover will instantly make you the center of attention. On the top you find four LED battery indicators letting you know the power level of the Mars 3 Air. You can increase or decrease the volume levels by using these two buttons. You can navigate the menu using these buttons right here and you also get a back button. But what makes the Mars 3 Air truly unique is that you can use this thing as a portable speaker thanks to Bluetooth mode. And the sound quality coming out of this thing is actually impressive. Take a listen for yourself. The built-in battery supports 2.5 hours of playtime, so more than enough juice to get you through an entire movie. One of the biggest advantages of the Mars 3 Air is that it's super portable and super easy to set up within just 3 seconds. A few key reasons why the setup is so simple and straightforward is because built into this thing is intelligent environment adaptation. Basically, the projector can autofocus, auto keystone, and fit onto a projector screen accordingly. And it does come with obstacle avoidance. So pretty much all you have to do is plug it in, press the power button, and that's literally it. Honestly, the portability aspect of the Mars 3 Air is super underrated. The other day, I went over to my parents' house for a sleepover. I decided to take the Mars 3 Air with me just to chill out and catch up on some shows. And the pocket portability of the Mars 3 Air really stood out to me. It comes with this handle thing over here, making it super easy to trek around with you. And the sheer fact that I can cast this onto a white wall and still get incredible clarity makes this a must-have for every sleepover from here on out. Now, the Mars 3 comes with a rich interface of inputs. We got an HDMI port, an aux port, a type C port and one USB A port. So you can actually plug in a variety of devices to this thing if you wanted to. Inside the box, you get a quick start guide, which we won't be needing. You get a power cord, a DC in adapter, two AAA batteries, a voice remote, more on the remote in a little bit, and of course, the Mars 3 Air. This remote comes with voice support, meaning that you can use your voice to navigate the Google TV interface thanks to Google Assistant. Let's say as an example, you want to watch the new Squid Games on Netflix, just directly speak into the remote. Hey Google, play Squid Games on Netflix. It's as simple as that. With the Google TV built into the Mars 3 Air, you don't have to close apps to go to another app. All the streaming services you use regularly are available to you right on the home screen. What you choose to watch is entirely up to you. I even tried a little bit of gaming on this thing. I hooked up my PS5 to the Mars 3 via the HDMI port and played a few hours of Spider-Man. Surprisingly, the gaming experience was great. Playing on a 100 inch portable HD display honestly felt like I was experiencing the future. This would have been amazing during my university dorm days. 
just to chill out and play a few games on my PS4 in the dorm would have been a next level experience. Now, this strap to me is one of the best additions to the Mars 3 Air. It makes a portable projector, well, actually portable. One of the best use cases for this projector that I can think of is to take this with me on my carry-on when I travel with my wife. We love watching shows right before bed and while traveling, the rooms that we stay in doesn't come with a TV that has Netflix built in. So the Mars 3 Air is actually the perfect alternative. Simply connect it to the hotel Wi-Fi, screw it onto a tripod using the quarter inch thread on the bottom, and you're all set up for a cinematic in-hotel experience. How cool is that? Now, if you're wondering what's upgraded on the Mars 3 Air from the Mars 2, well, we actually have a resolution upgrade from 720p to 1080p, a built-in system upgrade, the Mars 3 Air now runs Google TV, and environment adaption upgrades, such as autofocus, vertical and horizon keystone, screen fit, and avoidance. Up next, we have the x Jimmy Mogo 2 Pro. As soon as you open the box, you're greeted with an instruction card on how to install Netflix, something you don't need to deal with on the Mars 3 Air. Since the Mogo 2 Pro runs Android TV 11, it doesn't natively come with Netflix. You do have to commit to a workaround. x Jimmy markets the Mogo 2 Pro as a portable projector, but it doesn't come with an onboard battery. So you either have to take a battery bank with you everywhere you go, or you have to carry around a USB-C charger that it comes with. It is powered by a USB-C cable input, so whatever cable you use to charge your phone can also power the Mogo 2 Pro. The Mogo 2 Pro is rated for a brightness of 400 ISO lumen, the same as the Mars 3 Air. It also sports a full HD resolution. Now, when comparing the picture quality, I noticed that the Mogo 2 Pro wasn't as bright as the Mars 3 Air. As you guys can see in this comparison, the nebula is more natural and closer to the actual color of the image. To me, the contrast and the saturation levels are more accurate and the brightness is also slightly better on the Mars 3 Air. In this comparison on the nebula, the blacks are much deeper in the Stranger Things trailer. The Mogo 2 Pro mostly reflects the blacks, whereas the nebula actually portrays strong deep blacks. The Mogo 2 Pro just weighs 2.4 pounds. It's also comfortable to carry around with just one hand, although it doesn't come with a strap like this one. The physical setup is both straightforward and easy. The projector takes care of pretty much everything, thanks to autofocus, auto vertical and horizon keystone, and auto obstacle avoidance. Pretty much the same as the Mars 3 Air. If you're using a white wall as a screen, the auto obstacle avoidance is designed to avoid projecting part of the images onto a light switch or a framed picture. Fan noise I noticed on the Mars 3 Air is noticeably quieter in my testing. The x has a performance boost setting that does boost the brightness, but in my testing, it added a green bias and raised the fan noise considerably. For a projector this size, the audio system is surprisingly robust. The dual watt 8 speakers offer Dolby Audio, Dolby Digital, and Dolby Digital Plus. They deliver enough volume and quality for a large family room. Now, with both of these devices, you can also connect an external sound system for still higher quality and volume using the 3.5mm stereo output or Bluetooth. Just like the Mars 3 Air, you can use the Mogo 2 Pro as a portable Bluetooth speaker. I also tried gaming on the Mogo 2 Pro. Now, if you're a serious gamer, you won't be happy with the input lag. However, if you're a casual gamer like me, then you'll find it to be quite acceptable, especially for gaming on the go. Both these projectors are great options that make either of them worth considering. However, I'm heavily leaning towards the Nebula Mars 3 Air. It comes with an onboard battery, a useful carrying strap, offers the better image quality, and comes with, in my opinion, the better operating system in Google TV. You can check out both these projectors down in the description below. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a dolphin emoji down in the comments below so I know exactly who my true supporters are. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you do drop a like down below and of course subscribe for more content just like this one. My name is RJ and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.